Hello and welcome back to Tours and Tournaments. We are continuing our quest to get the conditions for achievements to unlock. And in doing so, I think we're going to start immediately by just unpausing the game. Let time move on. I think it's 1420 is our next big date because that's when we can hold a tournament of our own. Before that, there's not a lot that we can actually do. We got to seduce people. We got to have strong hooks. Actually, we already did the strong hooks, didn't we? That one's already done. Um, and we got to do our legendary hunt. So really, 1420 is our next big day. And beyond that, there's not actually a lot that we need to be worrying about. It's just basically keeping the realm running and making sure that everything is, you know, where it should be. Um, I'm just also, in that case, just having a quick look at the realm. Oh, another cadet branch. All right, cool. Um, yeah, I just want to have a look at the realm and just see if there were any obvious places where it looks like the border gore is a little too much. I gotta say, it's not too bad. I've seen worse maps. I've definitely seen worse maps where everything is, like, horrible. This one's reasonable. Uh, what does this guy want for seduction? He is humble, impatient, and gregarious. Let's go with that one. Uh, he loved it. Wonderful. Right. Um, yeah, I've seen worse maps in terms of where the UI... Oh, not UI. Where the uh, border gore is worse. Um... Just trying to think of uh, what we could improve here. I mean, we could probably improve a few bits over here. Th this got a bit sloppy in terms of uh, setting up the realm because we did um, claim wars rather than holy wars. Holy wars are really good for making your realm look nice. Claim wars are really good for getting a lot of land quickly. Ah, he did it! Fantastic. So that was the seven year one. Yeah, that uh, that's the uh, converting. Wonderful. So there are only t there's three orthodox ones left. Now, you should, in theory, be being converted by Jerusalem, you would think, right? Which means that these other two in here, we need to just pick one and go with it. Uh, let's pick the four-year one, or oh, the six-year one, I guess, at this point. Yeah, let's pick the six-year one and go with it. But yeah, there's only two bits of orthodoxy left. Sorry, three bits of orthodoxy left, two individual blocks of it. Cool. Uh, we're basically hoping Jerusalem are converting that one. You would kind of think that they should, right? Like, it just makes sense for them to do that. Um, what's also weird is it is also his court chaplain, as in, well, it's, it's the Duchy's court chaplain who holds it. So you, you'd you think that he'd just be in his own holding doing it. But at this point, look at this. So they got court chaplain, has his own court. He could be converting. Duke level title, have your own court. You could be converting. King level title, you could be converting. So we got three levels that could all be converting that same province, which is great for us. So at some point, we think that's going to go through. And then I guess we're starting work over here and getting rid of the Nestorian land. Um, but yeah, we'd, we'd get rid of all the Orthodox populist factions. Not that I think there are that. Well, there should, in theory, only be a maximum of two, right? Let's just see. Do we have any Orthodox populist factions? There might not be any, actually. That's the other side of things. Yeah, actually, there aren't any currently. But we would stop them spawning, I guess, is something. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, that's our goal over here, which is nice. It's good to make progress on something else. Oh, we should also check for a legendary hunt once every six months. That's the other thing that we are doing. You want us to stop being rivals? Yeah, sure. I really don't know who you are, so that makes sense. We now have zero rivals, which means people shouldn't be plotting against us. Daughter has learned Arabic, and we have gained Aspiring Blade Master. Why? Um. Okay. My my knight has taught me it. Oh, cool. Oh, because she's an acclaimed knight, so that's the acclaimed knight event that can get you Aspiring Blade Master. Wonderful. Well, love that. We can also probably get events to do with that as well now, which would be good. Invitation to a hunt. Uh, is that a good hunt? I don't think so. It would tell us if it's a legendary hunt, right? I don't know. Hmm. That's interesting. I'm going to decline that. I mean, I guess we could tell by just going in here. Yeah, so it's not legendary because we could have we could hold our own legendary hunt in the same province, I guess, in theory. I'm not sure how that works, actually. Yeah. Not sure how that works. Hmm. Yeah, I was actually... Yeah, I'm, I, I have been looking at this just thinking, is there anything we can do to it? I think most of it is fine. There's also no places where we have any, um... What's this Elder Advice one? For 15 years. Oh yeah, we'll take that. 20% monthly lifestyle experience? Good. 
Uh, yeah, there's not really any places where we can put, like, jukes underneath anybody because we already have, um... I don't think we have any jukes as a vassal, or apart from the ones that are directly underneath our kingdom. So if we do rank uh, direct vassals, I'll leave, try and leave the game unpaused while I'm doing this. And then we scroll down. Actually, it's probably in this area here. So you'll see that we have Neustria, Utrecht, Gelra, and Flanders. Yeah. So th those are the four that are like directly underneath us here. Beyond that, we actually don't have anybody, which is kind of interesting. Uh, now or never, we will seduce Sven. He will become our lover. I will add another to my list and just say that we are now at five, which means that we seduced all bar one of our, of our brothers. This one said no. So, cool. Uh, who are we seducing next? Um, I don't know. Um, I don't want to head to your feast. Maybe we should pick, like... Uh, oh, we should pick courtier, so we get the courtier bonus. So I guess we should just pick people and just go, like, one at a time. How about this guy? I am going to seduce you. I don't know who you are, but we're going to seduce you. Egmont. Right. He's blind. We can pretend to be somebody else, and maybe that would work? I don't know. Um. Uh, let's see here. This would, person would make a good wife for. I don't know. Good wife for. Someone. Right. Um, my vassal is wounded. Okay. I form an alliance with somebody. Somebody is plotting in my realm. That's fine. Um, do we have a... Well, we should go and check the hunt thing here when I can find it. What's that? You invite me to a feast? No. Uh, is there a hunt available? Just check. Nope. No legendary hunts available. Cool. Carry on. We're also, I think, waiting for this to convert at some point. But this one should convert the moment that we get this person's culture to change. So, we, person's culture changes. We kill the current ruler. Job done. That's kind of the plan anyway. We'll see. Right. Um, this is carrying on for whole of body. Hey, our wound healed. That's nice. Forgot we had one. Because we have such a huge amount of, um, like, countering penalties things. Like, negative things don't really affect us that much. Although our health is only good. It's no longer excellent. It was excellent for a while, which is, uh, pretty good. Right. Um, also, nobody has held a tournament yet. Like, in this time since we re-ticked this box to notify us of tournaments, nobody has held one. New Cadet Branch, what's this? Gift Artifact, no. Okay, carry on. Uh, this is fine. You converted your culture yet? No. I wonder what the uh, trigger is. It might just be a per month thing. Uh, but the trigger for them to change culture. Like, it might be every time they do an education roll. Maybe. Maybe. Like, every time he could gain a stat, maybe it does a check. Hmm. Not sure. Rare solitude slippery when wet. We fell over, and that is a death event. You know, foretelling our death, which hopefully will not happen soon. Our court musician is left in the night to marry someone, because I still haven't done the marriages in my court, therefore people are leaving to get married. I mean, I can't be that mad. I kind of encourage it. Hornblower of Holland. That's the greatest knight of Frisia. God, how could I be so stupid? This is obviously the Hornblower of Holland. And Rutger, 31. Rutger, 31. Go down here, find Rutger. Rutger, Rutger. Wait, did I go past him? Uh, Potentially? Yes. Okay, there we go. Let's put him in there. And this is the one that got us Aspiring Blade Master. Yeah, because we're high enough rank in it that, that we can just randomly get it now. I think our heir can randomly get it as well, it said. So, yeah. I mean, we could check. Does our heir have it? Not currently, but, you know, they might get it at some point. Although our heir isn't actually in our court, so maybe that's part of the problem. Not sure. Still isn't converted culture. All right, then. Uh, I'll check for hunts while we're here. No hunts, that's fine. Carry on. Uh, let's just see here. Just looking around things, checking all the ones that we check. Don't want to be a witch. Oh no, let's be a witch. You know, let's go crazy. Let's be a witch. Right. 
That still hasn't done any extra converting. Labor of love. Uh, what does he want? Probably doesn't appreciate architecture. Um, let's go with this one. Did that work? I don't know, maybe? Yes, it did. Funny interest. Wonderful. Uh, right. Where is the one that we converted over here? There it is. Uh, have you converted two, or is that still the one? That's still the one. I think. Wait a second. Wait a second. Nope, that's one. I, I, I was looking at the holdings thinking, oh, are those individual provinces? Nope. Still exactly the same situation as it was a second ago. We gained the trait incestuous. You've revealed my relationship with the world. Shocking. Also, what I find very funny about that is that it revealed our relationship with one of our brothers. So actually with our um old with our oldest brother. Um, but that means the other three will be like, what? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh yeah. I think that's kind of interesting. Hey, your devotion went down. No. Well, it's going to go back up again. Okay. Oh, two new cadet branches, one after another. Unfaithful. Um. No, nah, I don't care. <laughs> it's like, stop being a lover of Sven. Absolutely not. And wait, are all the others coming to me and being like, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, we're going to get an event for all of them. Because I'm being unfaithful to all, <laughs> to every single one of them. Wait, no, this one he's saying it's you or me. Uh, well, I mean, I already killed your wife, so like, sorry, don't care about you anymore. That's fine. Unfaithful. I'll just take the negative opinion. Daughter has learned a language. Unfaithful. <laughs> Who, who's Tichmund? Oh, my brother. All right, yeah. Um, I don't know. Well, I guess given that I, I didn't say yes to anyone else, I'm also going to do that there. Right. Um, this time we want to take restraint, which gets us embrace celibacy, which we're definitely not going to take, but one we'll might as well have. Right. Cool. So what is that again? That is plus 20 opinion of other people who are ancestors and then minus 15 opinion of everybody who isn't. Which actually means it's only plus 5 with them, but let's not worry about that. Assuming that they're my religion, which they probably will be. Given that that's most of the world at this point. Yeah, there aren't really that many other people left. If we go and have a look at our um, religion. The child of our dynasty. So, yeah. Three Orthodox, eleven Nestorian. It'd be nice if we could see individual numbers for like number of people. You could see that kind of thing in CK2. They had um the ledger in that game, but that the ledger was basically forbidden knowledge. Uh wait, which one do we need here? Uh pious, entertaining, or informative. Uh pious probably. Wonderful. Um but yeah, they, they, it was basically forbidden knowledge because it was it was basically uh, every single thing in the game that you could ever want to know, like army sizes, um, it had things like, you know, how much income was everybody making, all of that sort of info, info just available in a list, you could rank it, you know. <laughs> it was really good to see, it was just like, obviously it's a little, some of the knowledge was a little bit like, you know, uh, it was your character probably shouldn't know this type of knowledge anyway we don't have that in ck3 so at least i don't think yeah you, you have some of it but some of it you would have to go and find yourself basically uh yeah we'll repair this why not every courtier gained 10 opinion of me wonderful that's good to see scheme at court Okay. Now we chill. About to have another seduction one roll out. Let's do a little hunt check because it's been six months. Okay, wait a second. Wait a second. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was just looking at those there saying, those are events it didn't tell us about. It's just because they didn't invite us. Right. We've got another new lover. Wonderful. 
Uh, so that is six on our list. So we need four more. Uh, who's next? This person is next. That's our father. I don't think we can seduce... Yeah, whatever. Let's do it. Right. That's fine. He an extra learning. Although he might die at some point. We, we're kind of like... We're, we're going for... We're hoping he dies at some point. Because then we can actually become the dynasty head again. Now, does the dynasty head actually get us anything? Not particularly, but it would be nice. Somebody has survived a murder attempt. Oh, King Floris. Okay. I don't know who King Floris is. You converted to my uh, culture yet? No. You're 10, though. You became 10 and immediately grew a little bit taller in front of my eyes. Okay, snakes at court. Don't need to worry about that. Right. Uh, we're two years out from being able to do the tournament, which will be the next big thing for us. We lost an alliance with... Wait, 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 wait. Prince Sten of Kosala? He's no longer a ruler. Wait. Kosala is this land over here. Is that your... Oh, you've, you've unlanded your son, an heir? Why? Also, um, that's a huge number of troops that this character has. And look at that health. That's incredible. Anyway, he's finished whole of body, I think, looking at that. Yeah, he's insane. But, you know, we're not going to play as him, so that's fine. Moving on. More secrets being exposed. More secrets being exposed. We have yet another cadet branch, this one in Chernigov. Okay. You invited me to a hunt. You know what we should do before we say yes or no? Okay, it's not legendary. Probably. So we say no. Right. That's fine. Clear that out. Uh, we'll lose land if you die. I don't think we will. Yep, it agrees with me. Once we get this tournament done, by the way, we can do uh, hunts, like, basically non-stop, which will be fantastic. It's just until we get to that, uh, I'm just going to say no, we're not going to do anything. Until we get to the point of doing... What is this? Anyway. Uh, until we get to the point of a... Having done the tournament, we don't want to do the... A, we don't want to do the hunts currently, and we'd also probably want to get all our seductions done, because we want to do as much in our own capital as possible. I might have lost the train of thought halfway through there. Okay, with vivid clarity, I remember when I defeated Naravaramandeva at the Battle of Zanza. It was a battle that took place in the hills, a terrain I was greatly unprepared for. Since then, I've been mulling things over. I'm confident that if the battle happened today, I'd be a much more competent leader. So I can become a flexible leader, or I can become a rough terrain expert. Let's get rough terrain expert. Add another thing. Now we definitely have so many traits that they won't even fit on the screen. But, you know, that's fine. We've been here before. We'll be here again. Well, actually we won't be because the game is going to be done in 35 years. So, yeah, we probably will not be here again. But, you know, we'll see. We might be here again in a future playthrough. Uh, we say no to every one of these because it's a 95% chance. So, that's fine. Uh, we don't need to do that. People converting culture. Okay. Anyone uh, converting to router culture or expanding router culture areas? No? We can designate a guardian for our granddaughter. Well, I think this guardian obviously has to be a genius. Uh, and then it's going to be this person. There we go. Right. Carrying on. Okay. Okay. Almost there. Right. Uh, Troubadour's dedication. I will forsake this opportunity. Because we don't need to increase the percentage chance. We just need to let time pass. So that's what we're going to do. As much as we can, just let time pass. Uh, it's just got about seven months left on it. Okay. Ooh, what's this one? Go to a wedding? Definitely not. If we go to a wedding, how could we seduce all these people? Right. Hey, you want to give me some money? Sure. Give me some money. Give me some renown. That's good. Uh, ooh. I don't know if we've seen this one before. Uh, my entourage and I are enjoying a long, leisurely ride 
near Roma. Our business for the day concluded. We wend our way homeward in time for the evening meal. The sun is just beginning to dip below the horizon, sending red beams of light cascading through our number when my horse sun bucks suddenly. The motion is far too hard and too fast for me to regain control, sending me hurtling from the saddle. And I say, wait, no. 80% chance being incapable. Take it on the shoulder, 40% chance, or duck and roll, you suffer no permanent damage. And that's either bra that's Brave, or Hastelidor, or Hunter, all of them would allow you to duck and roll. Okay, I don't like these death events that we're getting. We're getting like non-stop death events. It's a little bit odd. Is that because we have the bad omen? Because uh, we still have, oh, we don't have it anymore. We had that one that said that we had ill omens. I'm wondering whether that's the other side of it. Maybe it's better than I thought it was. Maybe it's not just a negative opinion. Maybe it's an actual, like, you negative things can happen to you. Okay. Uh, so I see nothing indicating that this one would be legendary either. So we'll say no to going to Athens. That's fine. Although the positive about going to somebody else's hunt is that we can actually choose to go at the last second rather than going nine months in advance, which means that the hunt can last, like, a month rather than lasting, you know, a year plus. Which is good, I would say. Yeah, you don't have to travel there, but it is an improvement. Right, more schemes happening at court. Let's clear the, that out there. Okay, cool. Um, is there anything we could do to raise our piety? I'm just trying to figure out if we can get back to max uh, stuff there. Gerard Maland has its own cadet branch. You will lose land if... Nope, will not. Just needed it to recalculate. Uh, found witch coven. What do we need for that? House heads. Um, oh, I'm not house heads. So I don't have that one. Baron Gizelbert, apparently. My player heir need, need to be a witch. And then 60% of adult members of your house are witches. Zero, currently 0.14%. Ah, right, yeah, yeah, that, that'll get done at some point. You know what we could do to raise our piety? Go on a pilgrimage. I don't want to do that right now, but we could definitely do that. And given that our holy site is um, here, that probably wouldn't take very much time out of our day to just be like, hop over, do a pilgrimage to the Vatican, head back. That would probably be very quick. I think it's 30 days you have to stay there for a pilgrimage. I think it's arrive, you get 30 days of events, and then you come back. So it's pretty quick. Yeah, let's make him our lover. And that should be, yep, another one. So it's now number seven. Uh, you know, we just seduced our father. Let's seduce our son. There we go. Let's do that. Right. Carry on just adding uh, extra numbers to uh, that one there. So we've been invited to a feast. Say no. Right, mental resilience, so we get three years between breaks, which means that we can keep going on that. Okay, right. So now we don't want to take any more lear uh, any more learning ones till we have three built up, because we want to wait till we get whole of body and healthy, as we don't want know thyself by itself, if that makes sense. Because we don't want it, the game to say, like, you're going to die in a year, because we calculated you're going to die, because that would be bad for us. Oh, there's a 5% chance I gained a firm hand trait, which is month, uh, monthly prestige per dread. I did. I got a 5%. Okay. So I now get monthly prestige per dread. Wonderful. Um, And get reusing metals, which means that a new weapon can be a, get a bonus. Sure, why not? By the way, talking of uh, new things getting a bonus? Nope. I was like, it's a new year. We might get a... A bonus chance of getting a new legendary one. Nope. That was just nonsense talk. That's what was happening there. Nonsense talk. Destroy that. Uh, court chaplain has created a cadet branch. Okay. Folk Walding Lily in Takra. Okay. Um, right. We're about a year out from doing our tournament. Is that right? We are. It says two years, but I think it's a year out. I think it's a well, I think it's a year and a half, basically. Okay. So we're still working on that. Cool. 
Something unusual. What am I going to give you here? Well, I can just say perhaps not. There we go. I won't do anything that could cause a negative event to happen here. That's what we... Yeah, we definitely do not want a negative event to happen. Yet another cadet branch, this time in Egypt. Okay. Cool. Um, What's this? Invited to a wedding. Definitely no. Right. And I think we're going to end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.